Hi, I'm Robin, and I'm about to change the turbo in this car. But before I do, I want to explain to you how to quickly spot if your turbo is malfunctioning. The turbo gives power to your engine and makes driving and accelerating more exciting. But it can also fail, and in the worst case scenario, your engine can stop. Now some of the early signs of damage aren't very consequential, but they're easy to recognize. Left unchecked, these can become worse over time and cause catastrophic damage. Now let's review some of the most common symptoms to see if your turbo has broken down or is about to break down. Here's what you can experience. Lack of power. Now, if you know your car or if you have experience driving turbocharged cars, this one can be difficult to overlook. The engine doesn't produce the power output as it should. It's just not as perky as it used to be. You can also feel a kind of lack of momentary engine response when you want to accelerate. Sometimes the engine won't even get to a higher revs level, and the turbo lag seems to be much longer than usual. Now this all may refer to an underboost condition, where the turbo suffers from some severe failure or where the system can't deliver the boost to the engine. Now let's talk about smoking exhaust. A healthy engine should never emit any visible smoke from the exhaust system. Now there are many factors that can cause an engine to emit smoke, but a failing turbo is one of them. The following smoke colors apply universally to both gasoline and diesel engines. Bluish white smoke is a sign the engine is burning oil. Now this is a real problem because oil should never be a part of the combustion process. High engine wear or crankcase ventilation system malfunction are usually the root of the problem here. But the most common turbo related issue is leaky shaft seals. Now white smoke can indicate that the engine's burning coolant, there's moisture present in the intake, or you have high EGR rates. In terms of the turbo link, coolant burning symptoms may occur because of leaks in water-cooled turbo models. Black smoke refers to an incomplete combustion. Now this just means that the fuel that's getting into the engine isn't burning completely. A lot of things can cause this, but the main one is a blockage in the proper oxygen supply. A broken turbo is a real issue, especially if it can't deliver proper air to the engine. Broken elements like a failing compressor wheel, seizures, or impaired boost control are all issues related to black smoke. Another issue could be leaks within the ducts that deliver the charge air or an intercooler that may not be sealed, or suffer from inner clogs or even surface perforation. Noises can be an obvious symptom of severe turbocharger failure. You can't miss them because they amplify as the engine revs up, and sometimes you can even hear them loudly inside the cabin. A whining or siren noise is a very distinctive turbo failure sign and indicates that there's a failure with the turbo on the compressor side. Whether it's a shaft with too much play or that's out of balance or bent or chipped compressor blades, they'll all result in this noise until the turbo completely collapses. Whistling noises are common for leaks within the charge air ducts, whereas hissing noises are usually accompanied by an exhaust smell in the cabin and are related to leaks on the exhaust side of the turbo. This is what a hissing sound sounds like. The last possible symptom caused by turbo failures are errors registered by the engine control unit, or the ECU. Now, the illuminated check engine light on the dashboard is pretty common, but you'll register specific error codes via OBD diagnostics. In some circumstances, the malfunctioning turbo can result in the engine being put into limp mode with reduced revs and power. But this isn't a fixed rule, and some of the most catastrophic turbo failures can happen without any of the error codes mentioned. So these error codes can typically refer to lack of proper boost pressure, um, turbo boost control device failures, or erratic readings from the MAF or MAP sensor. Now, if some of these symptoms are present, don't panic. It could be that the turbo is broken, but a thorough system check has to be performed to confirm it. Before replacing the part, you have to find out what the problem is and repair it. 
In the following episodes, we'll talk about common turbocharger failures, talk about some of their root causes, and discuss some installation and troubleshooting tips. I'm Robin. Thanks for letting me show you what's under the hood. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And if there's something specific that you want me to do a video on in the future, don't forget to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.